What's up everyone? Welcome back to Black Myth Wukong. I am Obix and today we are continuing on our adventure. <laughs> yes! Yes, dude, I fucking did it! What the fuck? I am so confused. What is going on? What the hell? Oh. Are you dead? Oh. My mind is so split right now. I'm... Still feeling the hype of defeating that boss, and I'm so intrigued about this area that I'm exploring. I cannot express the mess of emotions that I'm feeling right now. Max health. All right. Oh, is it the, the monkey merchant? Is he gonna be here? Okay, not at all. And there's a spirit there. <gasps> the fuck is wrong with these guys? Fucking hell, what the fuck is wrong with these enemies? What the fuck? These enemies are so fucking annoying, what the hell? Now I'm mad. I can't even go back. Oh, I like that animation. Good thing that I noticed that I have this item that brings me back to the shrine, because there's no way I'm going to fight these fuckers like this. Now that I know how annoying they are, I got to rethink my strategy. I got to use the duplicates, got to use the transformation spell, I got to use everything to my advantage. <laughs> it's so weird to walk this way and not have the boss there. <laughs> Fucking hell, I just defeated such a tough boss and you do this to me i feel like this was such a, a from software move now you feel happy because you defeated the boss here's a bunch of fucking tough and annoying enemies
did you did you you saw right that this this group of enemies was basically a mini boss on itself you saw that right but it was quite interesting to realize that actually they are so easy to defeat once you activate the duplicate spell it's just a shame that it doesn't last long and that the duplicates die but once they get overpowered by the same amount of enemies they are much easier to kill that was interesting that was a a cool way to use a spell basically you could not go th go through here if you didn't get the spell before Nero was being really needy so she just came to lay right next to me finally after much yelling around the house because she's stupid brains is not her strength <laughs> ears either because <laughs> she's deaf <laughs> Alright, now that I've finally faced these enemies... <laughs> I don't know why, but the comment that I said was really funny to me for some reason. <laughs> Where am I? Am I next to the tornado? Am I inside the tornado? Oh no, it's another slide. Oh no. There's a shrine here. All right. <laughs> the way that the sliding animation bugs out. What is this place? Because this... I believe this is sort of a secret area, right? Because you need both masks to come here. Maybe two of the statues are not mandatory. And one of them actually leads to the continuation of the game. Something like that. But let me see. What the hell? Oh, it's that deity! The one that gave me the formula for the medicines. Oh, so now I can interact with you to make medicines. Interesting. Let me talk to you first. What is this? Mind core. Make medicines. Celestial medicines and mortal medicines? What is this? Celestial medicine. A lesser celestial medicine that permanently and moderately increases maximum health. Permanently? Interesting. So I can increase health, mana, stamina. Remake celestial medicines, what do you mean? Bro, what the hell? I really like these things though. This game is very forgiving. This is wild. You can reset all your sparks and you can also reset your celestial medicines. And there's no drawback. I really like how forgiving this game is on those things. Alright, it was great seeing you again, my dude. I don't know if I should slide down further or go to the horse first. I think I'm gonna go to the horse first. Oh, the horse is not here anymore. Oh shit, okay. I really thought I was gonna be able to interact with him once I kill the tiger because technically I saved him. I kinda wish I was able to defeat the tiger before, before killing the rat, the, the, the royal rat family I mean. But at the same time they sucked. The way that the king offered all of his people as food for an enemy. 
Instead of trying to fight back. If they are all gonna die, at least die fighting, you know? Don't just offer your people just to save your own ass. That royal family really sucked. But I do hope that I find the third prince. And I managed to bring him back. Because I feel like you would be able to do some good in this town. Oh, right. I also have that NP that boar that I, haven't, that I haven't figured out what to do about him. I feel like I gotta give him some poison resistance potions. He mentioned something about wind rest, but I'm not sure if that's actually what I gotta give him. Since he's wasted, I feel like I gotta give him poison resistance to sober up. Are you still wasted after all this time? Like, I don't know if you've heard, but I've defeated two major bosses, two major enemies around this area, so... <laughs> I really feel like he's just asking for more wine. Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm back. Do you remember when I said that I had a couple of nights that I didn't sleep well? Well, add one more to that. Because today, I had the funniest thing happened to me. You know when you wake up and get all ready? Thinking you're gonna start your shift at work at 10.30 and you get there and you find out you actually start at 2.30 p.m. That's what happened to me. So I got to my job and realized I actually started my shift four hours later. Man, was it fun getting there and realizing I'm way too early. But yeah, anyway. Now I feel like we got a lot of places to explore. But I'm really intrigued. There's like four places to explore. It's a lot. Yellow wind formation. I'm surprised I'm not sliding. I actually thought I was going to slide. Am I going to get to the tornado? I'm really close to the tornado. Holy shit. I feel like this might be a boss fight actually. Oh, is it that grandpa that teached me how to catch the wheels? It is you. Fei 脱落人间的鳞片四都龙神，生死一地，你我皆然。江河怀瑾。I feel like it's too damn early for this type of lore, dude. Don't talk to me in such cryptic language. I cannot follow. I really don't know what he's talking about. I don't know if he's just talking about some new story or if I am supposed to make any connection with what he said. Cause I, dude, I, yeah. It's too early for me to think. I think I'm gonna check what's behind the Tiger's Temple first. I just wanna check if there's any other shrine behind this place, if there's another area to explore, what is going on here. Copper pill. Oh, another soak. After using the gourd, the next rock solid costs no mana for a short duration. Okay. Alright, and there's another shrine here. Where am I? Windrest Bridge. Oh! Windrest. Is this the place where I'm gonna find the jars for the other fucker? Probably, right? Oh, 
All right, so we got an area to explore here. Another way. I suppose this is not gonna be a big area. I'll find the jars for the other NPC. And then I'll go to the other place. Oh. I knew it was going to be an ambush. All right, so what do we have here? All right, you're dead. All right, I can go forward where I can see this little side first. I feel like this is just gonna lead me to the place that I was in. Yeah, exactly, it's the same place, okay. Why the fuck? This enemy is usually so still and this one just came at me and attacked me so much. A key item. Sovereign stone. Alright, so this is the thing that I need. Okay, that's cool. So it's in the town of Windrest, which he did mention, but I don't have to find the jars. A foul-scented stone perfect for sobering up that drunken pig. Another chest. Oh, holy shit. Oh! This is like a worst version of those minions that I fought before. Alright, at least one of them is dead. Oh, no! He vanished. What the fuck? He got his health back. Motherfucker. Oh, 
Alright. This another spirit. Now I can kill the other two. Red Imperial Guard. I'm choosing to believe there's no boss nearby because I haven't found a shrine yet. It would suck to run through those guys before a boss. I'm not opening the gate yet. I guess from here we open the gate. And if it is a boss, I'm not sure I'll face it now. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Oh, nice. Fagrant Vine. Lugia. Fagrant Vine. Perfect. I think I needed one more to level up the wine again. So I am going to do that immediately. As soon as I get to a shrine again. I like the detail that if I kill these enemies, they still give me the plant that they look alike. Which is interesting, so it's actually a creature that has the plant. It's not just mimicking it. Should, yeah, I was just about to say I should start seeing the trail of light soon. And it immediately showed up. Alright, so this area is a little bigger than I was expecting. There's a bit more to explore than what I thought. Windrest Hamlet. I think I'm gonna go level up my my drink, talk to the pig, check the other statues, and then we'll explore this area. I feel like the other statues might be just small optional areas. So I wanna take care of this first. Oh, I need two. That sucks. You must have a massive hangover because you've been drunk for days, dude. <laughs> Oh. Done. His design is so fun. Bugo, <laughs> You wanna go to the temple of the tiger to eat the meat there? There's just dead rats everywhere and you're like, yeah, I wanna... I wanna take a part in that. I wanna have a piece. Well, I guess we're gonna jump to the tiger's temple then. There you are. <laughs> what a guy. Jade Lotus. <laughs> Hmm. Realm of Gold. Hmm. Hmm. like man flesh. Oh, 
Yellowwind Guai had a role in their downfall. Interesting, so the yellow wind guai was the one responsible for the downfall of the reds, according to him. That boss that I'm facing, I guess, the yellow wind sage. Its people are not yet extinct. I suspect the yellow wind guai had a role in their downfall. Our senior brother gave me a piece of gold. I'll need it here when the time is right, he said. So he got a piece of gold that he gotta bring here when the time is right. What does this mean? So vague. Well, I guess I'm gonna go back to the other statues then. Is another statue gonna show up from the floor or what? No, you're gonna open the gate, okay. Where does this go to? Yeah, I was right, this is the gate. Okay, I think I know where I am. Yeah, exactly. I'm on the other side of the fight against the um, first prince. I feel like this is... I feel like I can avoid some outcome regarding the king. Because I can... So I face the second. I go by the first. I get to the tiger. I defeat it. I go through the fright cliff. I defeat the stone vanguard. And I can get to Mask still. So I feel like I can unlock this gate without killing the first prince, without facing the first prince. Meaning, I don't kill the king either. I think there might be a different outcome to that quest, sort of. So if you avoid that boss, the king doesn't die and maybe you get a different outcome of the story. Mmm, interesting. I gotta retry this when I finish the game. Because there would be no reason to, for this gate to be here then. Why would you put a gate here that leads you back to another place you've been unless you want to avoid that boss? I feel like I'm onto something. But why would I want to save the king? He's a bastard. He's such a coward. I feel like I want to find the third prince, but I don't give a shit about the king. Why would I want to keep him alive? Is the prince gonna be mad at me because he de he's dead or something? If I find him? Alright, and this statue wasn't even an optional area, it was just a gate that I could open. Okay, let me go to the other one then. I guess this is the other gate that I found. So I'll just... This brings me to the Yellowwind Sage, I guess. Why though? Yeah, it does. Why? So, like, the other gate, I totally see the reasoning behind it. I can avoid killing a boss with it. But with this one... I'm very confused. Because I gotta face... Like, on the other side, the other way that I got here was after I faced the tiger. And it's obviously a mandatory boss. I gotta kill the tiger to get the mess to use this statue. So what's the point of this gate? Because it's not even a shortcut. I got a shrine on the other side that it's at the same distance. Really weird. Maybe it's a way to avoid going through the other area. Like, if you face the tiger and you have a hard time going through that area that opens up with the statue there, then you can just use this statue and get to this boss either way. Maybe? Maybe that's it. Maybe it's just a way around it. If you find one of the ways hard, you can just use the other one. Okay. It's the only logic that I can find. Well, let's continue exploring the Windrest Hamlet, I guess. What we have here. Oh, Tiger's Acolyte. Holy shit. Excuse me? Oh, my God. 
You sure you wanted to mess with me? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, it is your karma, dude. Easy. Oh, I'm gonna get his spirit. I didn't even get to see his skills properly. His abilities, I just annihilated him. Take the form of Tiger's Acolyte, draw near the foe in the flesh and hack them with a sword, dealing a single dis instance of damage. Increases critical damage as well. I see. I also got the Civet Sergeant. Ah, that one with its swords, the really annoying one. Slightly increases attack. The one that I have equipped right now gives me what? Maximum mana. Old Rattle Drum. Though this rattle drum is somewhat worn and tattered, when shaken it still makes a lively cater. Clatter. Oh! Holy shit. What do we have here? Well, perfect dodging recovers a small amount of stamina. I was so hopeful it was gonna say mana. I need a way to recover mana, dude. That's what I need. Oh, this is a boss. Why is this a boss? Ah, oh, no, I'm back to the place of the stone vanguard. What? I just did a full circle. What the hell? So in a way, Windrest is kind of optional. Yeah, I'm just back to this place. Okay, what the hell? So now the only place that I can go to is... Facing that boss, I guess. Let me see if this stone man... Has anything new to give to me? Oh, I can purchase stuff from you. What? The Gold Ridge Beast once perched on the roof of a Buddha Hall. Maybe it can be an exchanged for something valuable. I feel like maybe I'm gonna interact with an NPC that is gonna ask me for some treasure and I'll have to come back here and buy this. I'm not gonna buy it now, it's too expensive. I got another soak, iron pellet, using the gourd can no longer be interrupted by incoming attacks and now provides considerable damage reduction. I'll buy it, but I'm not gonna use it. Slightly increases will gained from defeating enemies. And I also got the sovereign stone. But I already found one. So I guess I could get here and buy it instead of going to win rest so win rest is totally optional i don't get it though why is it optional because it would be cool if it were an optional area but there were like a spell or something or some new i don't know item there wasn't anything so it's really an optional area that doesn't give much i guess we're gonna try and see what's in this tornado let's see it's a boss. Oh, is this one of the four deities that that guy was talking about? The king was beheaded. And these are the four deities? Or one of the four?
This is a boss that I can set on fire. So you were the source of the tornado. Oh shit. Shit. No! I tried to heal. <laughs> I was starting to feel a bit cocky to be honest. I was just thinking, okay, I'm gonna get this guy first try. And I was unlucky that I couldn't do the, the spell that summons that guy. That spell allows me to deal more damage. Yeah, but this one is not as tough as the tiger. It's fine. Oh, what the fuck is this? What? What the fuck? Oh! He actually has a little more health than I was expecting. Fuck, I didn't dodge well. Oh, dude, come on. Also, I gotta say, the animation on the sand is pretty cool. The physics that they have there. Oh, no! No, 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 not again, not again, not again! I was doing really well, dude. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> it's fucking... Why does he like to do this attack so much? I'm gonna get killed again, dude. After all this, look at the health that I took of him. I haven't even taken half of his health. And there we go again. Holy shit. How am I gonna take the rest of his health, dude? Fucking hell. You love this attack, don't you? Oh, he got the head back. No. I thought I was doing great. But we can do it. I believe we can do it. Okay, this doesn't count. I want to die, I want to restart the fight. I didn't do this well. No! Please tell me that I got enough health to survive. Okay. No! I was trying to heal. Dude. Why? Alright, so I switched a bit my sparks. I removed the other two stances that I don't use right now. I improved the basically the duration and the might recovery for the transformation. And I also increased the duration of the duplicates. And sacrificed, um, I think, something related with the immobilization. Like the, the distance that I can start attacking them or something. I dodged. He seemed so far away. No! I knew he was gonna do this, but I didn't manage to dodge. I 
I feel like I don't deal enough attack. My attack is really low. Also, I got a new spell. I forgot about this. Wait. A defensive spell that transforms the caster into a rock. If the enemy strikes the rock upon the transformation, they shall be deflected. Which grants a perfect chance to counterattack. Though the spell may seem simple, timing is crucial. Cast it too early or too late and it won't work. Beware, enemies who possess powerful moves may shatter the rock. I removed all the sparks related to the immobilization spell. I increased a bit, decreased a bit the cooldown for the rock solid. And I increased the maximum mana. I think I want to try this sergeant. It increases attack. I really gotta fight him in the midst of a storm now. I can't believe this shit. I can't- I can't see anything, dude. I cannot see anything and the fucking tornado keeps throwing me to the air as well. I did so well. But a thing that I noticed... Ironically, I thought that this um, spirit was worse than the other one because it doesn't do much damage. Although it is increasing my damage permanently, instead of having to stay in a certain area to increase my attack. Um, I did notice that the duplicates had their staffs glowing as well, so I believe this spirit also increases the attack of my duplicates. I think the other spirit didn't. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. It's handy. Oh! Now I understand the animation when he's starting to run. Come out of stamina. Oh no! Come on, come on, come on, heal, 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 heal. I think I'm safe. Okay, good. Why time that so badly? No! No, 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 no! Fucking tornado! How do I avoid this shit, dude? No. S stop. <laughs> the fuck is this guy's pissing me off, dude. He gets to the end of the fight and he's like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna... Wreck your ass, I guess. I'm gonna give it one more try and then I have to leave. Hopefully, I manage it. But... If you want me to be perfectly honest, I'm not feeling it. Would you mind coming to the fucking center because I cannot attack you? Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? I really thought I was gonna get him. This phase is really tough because I can't see shit. Alright, I am gonna have to try another day because I can't play anymore today, which is so fucking annoying after being in the flow and playing against this fucker for like an hour. Yeah, but it is what it is, ladies and gents. Don't forget your water. It brings peace and comfort to your inner soul. <laughs> At least I hope it does. What's up everyone? I am back! Um, unfortunately, I had to leave on the last recording because I had to go to work. Which sucked because I got to my job just thinking about how close I was to defeating this fucker. So, let's just get right into action. Um, I did think about it and I think something that I'm going to change in my strategy is I'm going to stop using the immobilization spell. It's not doing much for me right now because I removed all the sparks on it and it will save mana. And I also will try to save mana for the ending of the fight. I'll use some spells now in the beginning and I'll use the transformation right away so that it uh, loads up again. And then I'll try to fight him as much as I can without using spells so that once I get to that last phase, which is the hardest part, I manage to do a lot of spells, use a lot of spells and do a lot of damage without so much risk. I think it's going to be really helpful. Oh, 
Alright, so now... I'll keep my mana... For the ending of the fight. Oh, I'm alive! Holy fucking hell, dude. I think I... I think I was close to the end of, of the arena. <laughs> I was close to the edge of the arena because I couldn't dodge. Alright. So far, so good. Oh, fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh! I fucking hate this guy! It was doing... I was going so well, dude. I was doing so well. First try today, and I did that. I was actually... I, I really thought I was gonna kill him now. It was going so smoothly. Fucking bastard, dude. That was lucky. Fucking yes. <laughs> Fucking yes. I never said that before. <laughs> I love how the panic makes me say weird shit, dude. Oh! Oh! What is this? No! No! Dude, I'm... I'm so scared. I'm so close to winning, dude. No! No! I was healing! I was healing. I was so close to getting this fucker, dude. Holy shit. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna use potions. This is the attempt. I'm gonna use potions from the get-go. How many do I have? Three of each. Okay, perfect. Oh my god, dude. Oh, wow. I can't believe this happened. I can't believe you've done this. Oh shit. I must say I am sweating. I'm out of heels. Oh! How fucking annoying is this guy? It was actually a really smart move on them to give it a glow to his magic staff attacks or whatever you want to call them. Because you can't see well through the storm. But this way, you don't miss it. What the fuck is wrong with this face? Alright, so let me rethink the strategy. Because I'm getting really hang angry at this fucker and my potions are running low. So at the beginning, I'll use the strand spell so that at the time that it takes to summon the monkeys the boss also gets up then I use the potion to increase my attack then I transform deal a lot of damage once I did transform I use the potion to reduce damage and increase my health then midway I should increase all I should use all the potions again and use the spirit again and in the end repeat the process
I pressed to dodge, but okay. And I pressed to dodge again. Fucking hell, dude. I just started. out of stamina really Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm trying to use the fucking potions, dude. Again? Again? What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Do you realize this shit? It's the second fucking time that I get here after saving all my mana and I don't trigger the fucking duplicates because he attacks me while I'm doing it. Come <laughs> on. 
<laughs> fucking hell! Yes, dude! Holy shit! My heart is racing so much I cannot express it, dude. Oh, what the fuck. He did say my disciple. Oh, you are the king! You're the king that was beheaded. And there is four disciples. Or the disciples beheaded him or something. Holy cow. What? Omi <laughs> Dude, I can't even celebrate that I just won against that fucker. I gotta focus on reading lore. Dude,我不慎中了他暗算，连头颅也被他一并割去，做了存放根器、修炼邪法的容器。Second relic. Second relic. We got it, dudes! Second chapter! Let's fucking go! We got the second chapter done! New video? Oh, it's a different art style. Oh, this is so fun. That's really cute. I thought they were all gonna be the same art style. Cute, poor guy. Oh? Was it his wife? <laughs> Was that the sound from Bloodborne? The sound when you recover your blood echoes? That's funny. It was... Holy shit. Oh, it was a nightmare.
What's the meaning of all this? Another jam, dude, to end the chapter. Let's go. I got so much to talk about. Ah, I'm glad I finally got the fucker, dude. Mm. Chapter 2 Yellow Sand Desolate Dusk Concluded Let's see the intro of the next one 你风沙里走了这一遭小猴子，你听，那风里传来的都是求而不得的声音。Yes, my dude. Yes. Woo. <laughs> all right. Before we check all of this, let me let me pause for a fucking second, okay? Like we just faced such a hard boss. And it just, bam, bam, in your ass, lore. I can't even celebrate properly, holy shit. But the irony that an attempt that I thought wasn't the best, because when I got to his last phase, I couldn't trigger the duplicates again. And once that happened, I was like, yeah, I'm probably gonna die on this one. But then, because it happened... I, like, my initial thought was I'm gonna give up. Not well, directly, but I thought it wasn't gonna be the attempt. But then I just thought, okay, I might as well go for it. So I just really tried to still deal a lot of damage, dodge the attacks. I used the potions immediately as soon as I could. And as, I, as soon as I saw the chance, I kind of made myself think out of the box because I removed all the sparks from the immobilization spell and I did not expect to use it a single time during the fight but I saw that I, he had enough health for me to kill him if I was man if I was able to deal a lot of damage in a row so it was in that moment I knew I'm gonna win if I immobilize him now I'm gonna win and it's exactly what happened and I was so proud of it when I immobilized him I felt like it was a run against time because I had no idea how long he was gonna stay still I didn't know if he was going to break out of it quickly, if he was going to stay there for a while. So it was really a, a run against the clock, and I'm so happy that it paid off. Again, not one of the best attempts, but ironically the best attempt. <laughs> and I'm really happy that I defeated him. He was a tough guy. I have no idea how many times I died. 30? 40? I have no idea. So far I've died like less than 20 times to an enemy. And I feel like this guy easily doubled whatever the record I had before. Easily the double, over the double. Which is insane. I can't wait to go back to the recordings and count how many times I died. Alright, let's just check what's new here. Let's check the new lore regarding the second chapter, the relic. And we're gonna finish the game. I'm actually gonna try to exit the game without triggering the intro for the next chapter. So we do it when we start the next episode. I feel like it's better that way. I just didn't know how to do it the previous time, as you can imagine. But let's see. The new relic. What is this? Also, I, I must have a shit ton of sparks to use. Oh, it's actually just one. <laughs> okay, I thought I had more. I already used all of them. Yeah, I'm also gonna have to switch all of my sparks back to what they were. I gotta put them back in the immobilization spell and all that. Oh, this is me. This is me. That's cool. 
，救也救过，罚也罚过，躲也躲过，藏也藏过。先天一担丝，后天一把灰。八爪金龙又如何？动了凡心，菩萨也要吃亏。There's nothing else. There's just two spots to check on this image. I'm so proud of myself, though. I'm happy that I got him, and yeah, I, I was I was getting to the point that I was afraid I was gonna have to push this fight for another day, but no, it went according to plan. I managed to kill him today. <sighs> Let me view the inventory, dude. Let me check the new things. Fuming ears. All ears slightly extends invincibility duration of the first move of all variety com combos. Sound as a bell narrows the window to, of rock solid deflection, but returns half of the mana cost of the spell upon a deflection. Whistling wind temporarily increases attack after a perfect dodge. I mean, you know it. You know I'm gonna pick this one. I don't care about the invisibility window on the variety combos. And uh, rock solid is something that I haven't started using either. I do want to increase my damage. I want to obliterate the enemies as quickly as possible because they obliterate me quickly as hell. So yeah, I'm gonna choose this one. I'll check the sparks later. I I I I do no longer have the brains for anything right now, dude. I just want to eat, chill, and yeah. Oh, what is this? We got something new. Oh, this is a. Big jump on damage. From 40 to 60. The fourth move of a light attack combo and mobile staff spin can stir up a whirlwind of sand that increases attack range and damage. Oh, it's like a... A, a guy with a building on its back? <laughs> like a camel with a human head or something? I do want to... to to make this staff though. Oh, but I'm really low on all the materials. I need three more refined iron sands and a lot of will, 4,000. I realized that I was probably not with the best setup because the staff didn't do the most damage. It didn't increase my critical hit chance at all. I could have equipped a staff that dealt more damage, but yeah, it wasn't um, the best buff. I really like this one that it increases the damage of the light attack combo finishers because I do them a lot. I'm really happy with the, our progress so far. I feel like we've hit a couple of challenges. This chapter really increased the difficulty curve a lot. The previous chapter was a piece of cake and then you get to this one and you find the tiger and the yellow wind sage and it's just like nope, get wrecked. So yeah. It's a total twist on the formula. I'm really used to from software games really being hardcore from the get-go. This one is more forgiving in the beginning. I like it. They give you time and space to learn the the mechanics, to get used to the gameplay. And then you finally hit some hard bosses. And I feel like with the tiger and this one specifically, I started getting the hang of attacking and dodging and then continuing attacking and the combo continues. It's a pretty cool mechanic. It's pretty handy. Like, if you really focus on the enemy's attacks and you dodge every single one, you are not uh, penalized because of it. You don't get any drawback. If you dodge properly, you can still continue the combo. That's awesome. You can still land the heavy hits. And that's really cool. It does push me to try to read the enemy's attacks better and dodge them. I really like this chapter. I'm very curious what's gonna happen in the next one, because the previous one was a forest, this one was a desert. I have no idea what type of area is gonna be the next one. But yeah, as soon as we start the next recording, um, first we're gonna check the new intro of the next chapter, and then we're gonna check everything new that we have. We're gonna check if we have um, some new armor to craft, or just the weapon, if I can buy the things to craft that staff, because I really want to. And maybe I'll go back to the NPCs, if, see if there's anything new. Thinking there's four more chapters kind of scares me and also excites me deeply. I am so worried about the difficulty of the next chapters, but we're gonna do it either way. But yeah, everyone, this episode has come to a close. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.